go to Building Analysis, Post Analysis tab. Click on Analysis Results Report, where you can produce a document listing the analysis results. In the Structural Member table, you can list by story or by member types. In the left table, you can drill down which member you wish to include. Example, if you want all Story 1 columns to be included, simply drill down to the specific column folder, select it, click right arrow. Do the same for Story 1 walls. To exclude any elements, simply select it and click the left arrow. Click Next. Structural members means the report will state the member label, example 1C1. Frame elements means internally generally frame number, as shown in the analytical model. Choose Structural Members. Click Next. You can choose the load cases and load combination in the left table by simply checking the box. If you click Load Cases button, only load cases will be selected or deselected. Similarly, Load Combination. In the right table, you can choose the forces. Output type can be text or CSV. Sort method can be by loading or by element. Click Create Report. The report will be generated and opened in Notepad or WordPad. Inspect it, then close it. Click Exit. There are two shortcut icons to column and beam design. We will perform design later. Structural Model Export. After a successful analysis, you can export the model to ETABS or SAP 2000 for further verification or investigation. Close the Building Analysis dialog. Go to Drawings and Reports tab, Report, drop-down menu. Click Pre-Analysis Checks Report. The report will open in a new view. This shows the basic assumptions of the model such as story information, analysis parameters, load cases and combinations, materials used, and calculation of the model inertia center, or center of rigidity. Post-Analysis Checks Report contains the Story Drift Check, Member Effective Section Stiffness Factors, and all seismic analysis results, if applicable. Strong Column Checks and Joint Shear Check can only be generated if high ductility seismic analysis is done. Story Displacement Report shows the displacement of each story based on the center of story diaphragm and nodes not constrained by the diaphragm. Eigenvalues results report can only be generated if seismic analysis or eigenvalues analysis is performed. It contains the natural frequencies calculation of the structure based on the number of modes requested. Sway classification report shows the sway analysis of the structure, that is, if the store or building is sway or non-sway. For this training model, the building is classified as non-sway. Hence, if you go to the settings center, lateral drift and bracing, the sway amplification factor is 1.0. If the building is sway sensitive, then there will be amplification factor greater than 1. This amplification is automatically applied in the analysis. Hence the analysis forces that you get in the analytical model and the analysis forces report produced already has this amplification applied. Analysis results report has been covered earlier. RC and steel member design report can only be generated after members are designed, so this will be covered later. Seismic isolator report can only be generated if seismic isolator is used. Member loads report produce a report on all the loading on the members. The interface is similar to the analysis results report. In the structural member table, you can list by story or by member types. In the left table, you can drill down which member you wish to include. Example, if you want all Story 1 beams to be included, simply drill down to the specific column folder, select it, click right arrow. Pick a few beams by holding down Control key. To exclude any elements, simply select it and click the left arrow. Pick a few slabs too. Click Next. In the left pane, check which load case to include. Click Select All. In the right pane, choose load type to include, example point load, etc. Click select all. At the bottom, there is option to sort by load type or load case. Click create report. It may take a while to generate the report depending on the number of elements. Inspect the report. Close the report. Click exit. Slab load reports list down all the slab additional or service loads as defined in the slab additional loads library. 
wall types report list down all the used partition wall loads as defined in the wall loads library. Member property assignment report prints out element and releases, column isolator and steel member splices. In the left table, you can drill down which member you wish to include. Example, if you want all story 1 columns to be included, simply drill down to the specific column folder, select it, click right arrow. To exclude any elements, simply select it and click the left arrow. Click Create Report. Inspect the report. Close it. Check slab thickness report check the slab minimum thickness according to relevant code of practice, if required. It also allows you to set the slab type, that is, continuity condition automatically, and include these in the report. This will be covered in detail in slab design topic. The strip footing design, pad base and pile cap design, and the rest of reports are for foundation elements which have been designed. This will be covered in foundation design topic. All reports generated will automatically be saved and made available for compilation in Report Manager. In Drawings and Reports tab, choose Report Manager. The Report Manager is the central report manager where all analysis and design reports can be accessed and managed. Report Sets on the left pane shows the constituent reports which will be compiled and combined into a single final report. Reports Repository in the middle pane. These are all the individual reports that are generated and available to be included as a report set. Click on the triangle to expand the detail reports. Generated report will be shown in black with report name and timestamp. It can be added to the report sets. Ungenerated report will be shown in gray. It can still be included in report set and will be printable when generated in future. Notifications on the right pane. Important notes and warnings from the analysis and design of the model as shown for easy reference. To create a report set, select New in the Report Sets tab and give the new report set name, Example Submission 1. Click and drag a report from Report Repository to the Report Set pane. Select Add All Available. This will add and include only reports that are already generated in the Report Repository. Add All. All reports including those not generated. Ungenerated report will only be printable when it is generated in future. Click Remove All to remove the reports. Then click Add All Available. In the Report Set pane, there is icon to include a content page. Ensure it is activated. Summary of notifications, which is all the notifications on the right pane, can be included by ensuring the icon is activated. The sequence of the reports can be rearranged by selecting a report and clicking on the up and down arrow icon. Click Report from File allows you to insert external document or RTF file. You can generate a QR code and automatically insert it in the header of the report. You can insert the company logo in the header. Font type and font size can also be changed if desired. Select View to generate and view the report set. Review the report. Close the report. Exit the report manager.